Diana Denmark here and rah 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 we made it to the end of another week and this is also the final mission this week uh, for the fly ladies prepping for the holidays you know Christmas whatever you are prepping for I'm just moving you back a wee bit there and I'll put down my pom-poms uh, and yes I'm feeling a wee bit tired this morning I was out late last night but I had a fantastic time uh, with my friends if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that we went to see the Human League uh, last night and I'll try and put some pictures on but I was with uh, my friend Catherine from New Zealand who I've mentioned uh, before and also my friend Sue um, who is from uh, Dover and a friend of mine uh, called Kate and she's from uh, Bath or Bath if you're, <laughs> if you're English we were having a laugh last night because you know I say these things in the Scottish way Bath uh, or you know your auntie and, and in English you say your auntie or lives in Bath and anyway uh, we had a good time, but I, I haven't had enough sleep today, so I'm, I'm on loads of coffee and I'm taking it slow and steady. Anyway, the mission for today, Fly Lady mission, I think it's number 20, and I need to check the calendar. Uh, and I know you don't want to hear it, but we're going to be talking about budget again. Now, and, and you know what, we've got to be the grown-ups here. There's nobody coming to save you. You've got to be responsible for your spending or for not spending the money. And uh, if you if you printed out your holiday control journal, this is my you know my, my folder now contains tons of extra stuff. Uh, but there's a, there was a couple of pages where hopefully you've already written down gifts, what you're you're making for people, what you're buying for people, uh, if you're doing token gifts with the family, and you, you, can you just take a wee look at that today? Remember. Most of these missions, they shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes. You know, grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit down, you know, get the music on, get the candle on, uh, and just sit and, and look at it. Um, you don't need to be doing this Christmas planning or holiday planning, you know, for hours on end. And just keep them to short missions and we're just kind of moving forward. So if you take the, the papers that you had with, with the gifts, Take a look, is there, perhaps you can reduce spending and just giving token gifts to grown-up members of the family, that's what we do now. Uh, because, you know, we all have everything that we need, we've all got too much stuff. Uh, perhaps when the family are asking about uh, gifts for your children, tr let's try and stop the flow of stuff coming in or ask for stuff that they really want or need. Uh, you know, or uh, just, uh, you know, ask for money for buying uh, new clothes for them. So let, let's kind of stem the flow of things coming into the house and uh, the money going out of the house. And also things like, um, I know Black Friday is coming up and everybody thinks, oh, there's going to be great deals. It's not a great deal if you're going to be buying extra stuff that wasn't on your gift list. Just be careful with that. You know, uh, sometimes we're kind of get caught up in the excitement and think, oh, that's a really special offer. It's not an offer if you weren't planning to spend that money in the first place. So let's, uh, you know, be reasonable about these things. Also, if you are uh, making gifts, uh, you know, knitting stuff or uh, planning to cook things, you know, bake uh, biscuits, have, have a look this weekend and make sure that you've got everything that you need or that you've started with these things. Um, if you need some ideas, you know, for kind of token novelty gifts, uh, you know, maybe you're doing something, we used to do it a lot um, when the kids were smaller, we would use a photo upload and get, you know, a, an apron uh, for my mum, you know, for granny from the kids and, you know, with a picture of the kids on it. Um, and for my husband would get, you know, a key ring with a picture of the kids on it. So anything like that, that try and look at it this weekend, you know, I, I, this is my favourite mug and this was one that I got from my uh, besties. Uh, from a 50th last year anything like that let's get it ordered <laughs> as soon as possible because you know what it's like you might have the idea and then it comes to the month of December and you're there at one o'clock in the morning on the computer trying to find uh, a decent photo of the kit so let's just kind of think ahead with those things um, and also um, you know while you're thinking about budget and what you're doing also think about you know were you planning to go to the theatre uh, the pantomime. I'm going to see the British pantomime here at Tivoli with the ladies in my uh, ladies club. Um, I was sitting with uh, Vipika and Helena who were having our tea after a skinny dip yesterday and we were talking about you know the, the traditions that we have. We meet um, one afternoon 
to make Christmas decorations and we get the Christmas music going and we eat uh, Christmas biscuits. Uh, we also, uh, I go into Tivoli uh, for a Tivoli trip with my bestie Helena and our daughters. So we had to, you know, find a date for that. Um, we're also going to town for a dinner. So let's just look at the spending, what is coming up. Don't, don't you know, be out every night uh, for different dinners and suddenly it's all adding up. And then when you get to January, you're thinking, oh, why did I spend so much money? Let, let's kind of plan ahead for these things so it's uh, more enjoyable. So anyway, I'm going to stop it there. Remember, just take 10, 15 minutes, grab yourself a cup of coffee, think about it and get it written down just so you have an idea of where the money is going and try and uh, stop spending so much. And um, I will be around on Instagram over the weekend uh, and otherwise I'll be back here on uh, YouTube on Monday morning and keep going with your routines out there. Um, I, I, I've said it before, in, in the past I would not do my routines at the weekend or I'd think, oh no, I'll, um, you know, I'll kind of take the weekend off and I won't do laundry. And, and you know what, that came back to bite me in the bahuki Monday morning and I was feeling kind of stressed out. So keep going with the routines. And I know a lot of you have asked about the laundry thing, you know, do I do laundry at the weekend? Yeah, I, I do one load of laundry and it is not, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time for me. And, you know, I'm not going down to the river with the basket of clothes uh, on my head and sitting there pounding them with a rock. It, it takes me a minute to put the things into the washing machine and set it. And then it takes me five minutes to hang the things up, which are wet. And then it, it takes me five minutes to fold and iron the things which are dry from the day before. So, I mean, it takes me 10 minutes to do laundry. So I would rather just do 10 minutes every day rather than having the big pile up come Monday morning and I haven't, you know, been up to date with a dishwasher and, you know, thought about what's for dinner. So just keep going with the routines. Just keep them, keep them simple. Do the minimum and we're just moving forward. So anyway, I'm off to finish my coffee. Hope you have a fantastic day and a great weekend. Uh, and I shall see you bright and early on Monday morning. Okay, down in Denmark saying, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. And here's a wee shake of my pom-poms. Uh, didn't we do well this week? Yeah, give yourself a, a, a clap on the uh, shoulder. Okay, see you very soon. Bye for now.